So you have called yourself a devil's advocate within Intel. Tell me what that means. So I believe in every business product, and this is why many CIOs who've been through Intel don't like me, by the way. I, in every business process, somebody has to ask the question, are you sure, or what about? And since I was a CFO for so long, it's a natural thing for a CFO to do. So even if I agree, let's say the strategy is go by Altera. As CFO, I'd say, you gotta be kidding. At this price, what's it do for you? What if you can't get the integration? Someone has to ask those questions that say, are you sure? Even if you agree with the strategy, you have to have someone in the company saying, I'm not sure. And so because of my time with Andy Grove, only the paranoid survived, he was always asking those questions. I kind of became the Andy Grove uh, mentee who picked up that banner as CFO. And I've kept it, I was surprised, I thought once I got out of the CFO role, and I did, for a while I did change, I was helping be the creator of new strategies. As I've become chairman, and I'm not creating the new, helping create the new strategies, I actually play the role of, did you think about this? Or, you know, it seems to me this is wrong. You know, one of the examples I like to use is a few years back, we invented a new battery technology. Yeah. And someone came in to a review and said, the biggest problem with cell phones is battery life this is going to make us a fortune. And so we're going to keep it for ourselves, put it in Intel phones, it'll be a big advantage. And I said, who told you that the biggest problem with bad cell phones is battery life? They said, well, everybody knows that. I said, I don't think so. I said, everybody now charges their cell phone every night. So you're going to make it, I can charge it at 1 o'clock in the morning instead of 11 o'clock at night? Who cares? I said, I think what you'll find if you went to an Apple, they'd say, you mean I can make my phone thinner? So I can have the same battery life, I can have a slimmer phone, which gives me an advantage. And that's indeed, after we had had those discussions, that's exactly what an Apple did, is they took that capability. See, you have to ask a question, because if the capability is towards making the current product more successful, you want to treat that, pro that invention one way. If it's towards creating a new product for yourself, you treat it a different way. And what you have to do is have somebody saying, you know, I don't think you're right about that. So you're a challenger of conventional wisdom. Yes, and people would tell you, I, I t actually teach a course at Intel on that now. And one of the things I teach is, tell me the problem you're trying to solve, and then I'll give you a solution. And when you realize my solution is really dumb, then you'll realize you haven't stated your problem right. And we'll eventually get the problem right, and then finding the solution is a lot easier. Mm -hmm. So if you said to me, okay, Andy, what time do I need to leave to be, get to the airport to make sure I'm there by three. I'd say, I'm there by three tomorrow. I'd say, now, solve your problem. You wanna make sure you get there. Okay, wait a minute, I wanna restate my problem. My, I wanna make sure, I, I said, which airport? San Jose or San Francisco, and what time? It, so you have to know the problem you're trying to solve. Gordon ha had a great saying. He used to say, if you don't know where you're going, all roads lead there. You have to know the problem you're trying to solve. And that the challenging part of what I do is once we understand the problem, people are really good at solving it. But if you don't state the problem well, you're gonna have chaos.